Hey guys, Joe from Joe Snowmobile Scratch. Thanks for uh, stopping in again. Um, I'm looking at this door handle from my rear passenger door on my 2000 ML320. And um, mine was broken. I don't know what happened to it. It was like that when I got it. But I was wondering how in the world do you take out the old handle and put the new one in? I can't explain to you how to put this inner portion on this because that's inside the door and uh, I really hope it never goes bad. However, I can tell you how to put the handle on. There's a cap right here, okay? And like, I can't show you because it's on the car. But on the side of the door, under the rubber weather stripping, there is a hidden hole. And you just flip up the first three inches of that rubber, stri uh, that rubber um, weather stripping, and there's a hole. And you take a Allen wrench, and you put it in that hole and it, it needs to be at least about that long of an allen wrench probably four or five inches long i think this is a 530 second so i want to say this is actually metric but for some reason this fits anyways you loosen this bolt here you loosen that which if i can show you hard to show on camera anyways it sticks out right here so once you loosen this that releases that black cap okay and then that's how you get this handle in and once that's how you can get that handle in and out then once you put your handle back in, then you're gonna put that black cap back on and get this to move forward. There we go. Put that black cap back on, right? And then you're gonna tighten this until it feels nice and snug. And I can show you here that little screw. See if I can get it as a white background. See that coming out right there? So it's just a set screw, it holds that black fitting in. So anyways, don't don't screw it in too far, otherwise it'll pop out. But if you can just screw it enough, it'll hold that black cap in place. And then again, to remove it, just loosen. Well, don't throw your Allen wrench around, but loosen it. Loosen it up. Take your black cap off, then your handle will slide out like this. Boom. Put your handle back in. When To put the new handle back in, slide it forward if I can get it just there we go put your black cap back on and then re-tighten that screw until it until it seats on that black cap and you're good to go then the door handle will work like it's supposed to so I have to find that alley wrench there it is hope that helps you guys just a quick story on how to do a door handle pretty simple but i didn't know and i wish i would have seen how to do it online so i'm hoping that helps you guys thanks for watching joe snowmobiles don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you want to comment comment below i read the comments i reply to the so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time